In our last video, we made the Blink dashboard its mobile application. We wrote and uploaded code in our Nord MCU ESP8266. We also installed and controlled our appliances using Blink application. So if you haven't watched that video yet, I will recommend you to go and watch that video first. The link is in the description below. In this video, we are going to control our appliances using our voice through Python and Blink API. First, let's create our APIs. Firstly, we have our protocol HTTPS colon slash slash. After that, we will write our written code. You will find it here on your Blink dashboard. Maybe this will be the same or maybe this will be different. It depends on your region. After that, rest of what I have selected will come as it is. Now you must place your Blink token before the end sign. To get your token, open the Blink dashboard, click on the device info and copy it from here. And after end sign, write your PIN number. If you want to know which appliance is connected to which PIN, open the Blink dashboard, click on templates and then click on data stream. Here you will find which appliance is connected to which pin. Now put an equal sign and to turn on the pin number, write one after the equal sign. And to turn it off, write zero. Now let's test it out. So here as you can see, my fan is turned off right now. Now I will paste my API here and Press enter. Now my fan is turned on as you can see on my dashboard. In a similar way, I can turn off my fan by just replacing one with zero. Here, as you can see, my fan is turned off. You can control other appliances just by changing the pin number. Now let's write the code in Python to control our appliances using voice. written all of my code so let's test it now 
So first I will show you that here the fan is turned off. So now I will run the code. Turn on fan. So my fan is turned on as you can see right here. Now let's turn it off. So uh, turn off fan. Turn off fan. So the fan is I uh, turn off as you can see right here. So our board is working, everything is working. That's it. If you find this video informative, don't forget to press the like button and also subscribe to my channel because I'm going to make more informative videos like this in the future. So I will see you next time.